I've been absolutely forcing myself to earn some of the hardest platinum trophies the PS5 has to offer. And truly, from the bottom of my heart, I needed a break. So I decided to platinum one of my all-time grill games. If you ask me, the PS3 platinum trophies are light years better than any other console. But first, there's one thing we must do. Let's turn this bad boy open and get the platinum trophy. Uh, yeah. This might take a while. Got some keys. Yeah! There we go, boom. Hopefully I didn't take the game. Man, imagine spending $60 on a PS3 game, but this is my Grail Platinum Trophy, I'm not gonna lie. Damn, brand new, unopened. <laughs> Still has the booklet and everything. I love collecting these games. PS5 is cool, PS4 is cool. I'm a PS3 person, so I fucking die. Let's pop it into PS3 and earn that very first trophy and work our way up to the Platinum Trophy. And right off the bat, we were thrown into a pretty cool cutscene showing what will happen in future sight. I like when games show a little bit of what's to come. And shortly after we go to the training room where I relearn how to play Army of Two after not playing for almost 10 plus years. Welcome to your final test. Be aware, this is gonna be 100% of your grade. Get to it. Ooh. 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 Switch weapon. Into your pistols always faster than reload. Ooh, shit. Too easy. You'd be surprised how many people screw that one up. Let's go, let's do it. First trophy, baby, let's go. And even though I hadn't used the PS3 controller in what felt like years, my button pressing and combinations were back like they never left. Okay, let me stop lying. The PS3 controller is hot garbage compared to the P4 and P5, making pretty much any simple game way harder than they should be. It honestly feels like I'm playing with a brick with analogs on top. What do you say fuck me for? Now it was time for my very first playthrough. This game needs to be completed twice for the platinum trophy, one on any difficult and two on insane. As I always do as a platinum gamer, I selected hard even though I had no idea what I was doing. Gangsta! This game gonna be fire! Alright, let's do this. I keep shooting off their hats and shit. Die right. that easy? Damn, right, first blood. Let's go, baby. Another trophy without trying. The actual nostalgic story of this game doesn't start until about six missions in. The first five missions pretty much go over all the things you can do with your teammates. Single overkill, double overkill, collecting money, and ranking up. Oh, shit. Oh, I got some money. Okay, okay, okay. First mission done, baby. And probably my favorite thing in this game, if you can find a co-op partner like I do much later in the video, you get to pick two different lanes you can take. One player goes low, another player goes high. And basically you play by yourself. This is where I have my most fun. Seeing if I can survive all the ways of enemies by myself. Hello, Ed boy. Oh. Let's roll, And that's pretty much how the next few missions went. I opened the door, I killed everyone in sight, and moved on to the next step. Here's me earning the cash and completing those missions. I'm dead as fuck. <laughs> Look how I die. Damn it, I suck ass. <laughs> Gay! What the? Rank up, baby. I get it. I got a trophy. Now what? Now, from here on out, this is where things get interesting. We save this random girl from this PDF file. Honestly, we could have left her there. She doesn't show up anymore throughout the entire game, but whatever. I sound like a 
14 year old, but my boobs are huge. Bruh. Salem is stuck under a burning truck. We have to save him. That's obvious. When we finally get close enough to save him, the entire truck blows up. We think he's dead. Things get so intense, we decide to move on without him. But there's a twist. He's not dead. And not saving him will bite us in the butt a lot later in this story. But let's grab a few trophies that simply take place by having fun with the game. Thank you. What they say? Fashion police perform 50 hat shots. What do you know? Party pooper. Kill three targets with one grenade. This Sir Yes Sir trophy was for leveling up to rank 5. You don't know how much you miss the PlayStation 5 being able to click and read the trophy right as it pops up until you're playing the PlayStation 3. Money shot. Headshot a target while blind firing. Foo bar. Hooked up beyond all repair. A complete rally point. Combo master. Perform a 10 times combo co op. One, two, three, go. One, two, three, go. Players simultaneously kill two unaware targets. And they perform 100 headshots. I feel like I did that a lot longer ago, but what do I do? And after roughly four to five hours of gaming, I was ranked seven out of 25, getting closer to that blood, sweat, and guns trophy for hitting max rank, and had saved up roughly 65,000 out of the $700,000 needed to earn the trophy deep pockets for buying all weapons, tattoos, masks, and outfits. Everything was going swimmingly until we ran into a non-stop spawn rate of enemy. What the fuck? Damn. Damn! How'd that work out for you? Go. Complete outside contact. Now we're on a full chase for Salem since he completely switched to the corrupted side and is killing anyone in his way to get his revenge. I mean, I would probably feel the same way if I looked like Two Face after I was left for dead in an explosion. Two Face, finally, we're face to faces. I know it's not good to be on there. No shit. All right, let's find another way. <laughs> <laughs> Massacre in Paradise. Massacre in Paradise is for completing last resort. Machine gun down. Melee all day. Perform a melee kill while you're in overkill. Let's go. Forgive our sins. Complete salvation. Perform 25 flank, surprise, or tag team kills. Can you walk? Come on, man. Let's get you out of here. Damn, Brandon, man, completely the fuck over. Oh, let's go behind enemy lines. And there we go. Perform ten cover to cover transitions in a row. Keep it up. Level up to rank fifteen. Trophy, Barbarian, destroy 500 objects. I'm in the drug lab shooting everything up. And just like I said, I was in Salem's drug ring shooting everything up, chasing him down, trying my best to kill him before we get to the end of the game. And you can truly see that it literally does not matter if you catch up with him, unload all your bullets possible into his back, it literally does nothing. And I thought that was one of the funniest things I've seen in gaming in a long time. Yeah, 
have been killed, dude. Ten times over. What the fuck? <laughs> Man, y'all don't get the fuck out of here. It's just as defensible as the compound, but not as obvious. I've been studying about these stuff for five fucking years. My gut says it's the ghost. Girl, don't nobody give a fuck. We didn't listen to her. <laughs> Girl, don't nobody give a fuck. Drugs are for losers. Complete narco hell. It's over now. Environmentalists kill three targets or more using an explosive object in any level. I'm surprised I haven't done that already. I'm throwing grenades the entire game. War comes home. Complete assault. We've reached the last mission in the game. This is by far the hardest mission throughout my entire playthrough. I may have died 15-ish times until now. The difficulty spike skyrockets based on how little cover they give you and the amount of enemies in your path. I die in some of the goofiest ways possible. Just take a look. Done well, kids. There might be a place in my organization. Fuck you! Damn! I got to Today, teammate, please. Please save me, teammate. <laughs> Did you just run away? No, I don't really feel- I'm down, cousin. I'm down. I'm down, friend! What the fuck is going on, bro? Tell me now, team. This game buggy as hell. No. <laughs> what is going on right now, cuz? Man, fuck. Ain't no way, dude. Ran me completely over, cuz. I'm so sick of this fuck. That was just a few dumb moments. The worst of it all is when I actually killed all the guards and finally blew up the truck. The cutscene plays where we decide if we're gonna unalive him now or let him spend the next 30 years in jail. The game straight up bends me over with no Vaseline. Make it, make, make it spin. You know what? Shoot his ass in the head. You gonna make him spend his life in what? The rest of his life in jail? Get that asshole out of here. You know what? Jail probably worse. Huh? You should have killed me. You think prison can hold me? Oh, uh, don't worry, Salem. I hear there's a special prison for people just like, like you. Yeah, you'll see the sun in 20 or 30 years. <laughs> Contract failed. Bravo was killed. Yeah, as you can see, I'm the first person ever to have a teammate die in an imaginary gunfight. It's like dying a Casper with a blicky. Huh? At least we gained a few trophies after all that struggling. Where'd you come from, cuz? Whack a mass. 500 targets killed while in cover. Revenge is a bit complete confrontation. And now what? Complete the campaign. Even though my first of two playthroughs was done, I had played roughly three to four hours and still had some juice left in the tank. As per usual, this is about the time where you start the cleanup of the game. I was ranked 19 out of 25, which was wonderful. Only a few more levels to go. The only thing that had me in a pickle is I only gained $300,000 on my hard playthrough. I'm guessing I would only gain a similar $300,000 on my insane playthrough, leaving me needing another hundred thousand dollars to pop the grindiest trophy so i came up with a big brain idea spend almost all of the money to make my third playthrough much longer since i love this game from the moon and back My baby, fully customize a weapon with six customizable parts or more. I directly jumped into my insane playthrough and realized it wasn't going to be that hard after all. Since I played my entire hard playthrough, spending not a dime and using stock weapons from beginning to end, the new weapons I recently built with max accuracy and max damage, I was absolutely blazing through enemies. So I could simply focus on side trophies such as letter rip or killing 100 enemies with an MMG or MGL. Morning, huh? Guess I'll get my trophy right now. There we 
go. Let her rip. 100 targets killed using either an MMG or an MGL. Demolition Derby for destroying 50 cars. Demolition Derby is for destroying 50 cars. Overkill for killing 200 targets in single overkill. Baby. Overkiller. 200 targets killed in a single overkill triggered by me. Also a trophy I thought I was going to have to get uneasy, but I managed to get it without even trying. Just a scratch for not going down during a mission. Just a scratch, you didn't get wounded once in a mission, medium, hard, or insane. I actually was gonna say that for later on my medium playthrough. And a couple more trophies that are almost exactly the same to the one that I spoke of previously. I was pretty much 75% done with my insane playthrough where I finally reached level 25. Go. Blood, sweat, and gun. That's all I've been waiting on, bro. That's probably the hardest trophy in the game, if any. Right after I realized I just crossed enough money to purchase all the weapons in the game, even though I had zero intentions to put down the aim bot weapon I was using. Arm to the T, buy all guns. Next, I grabbed two super easy trophies. Normally, I save these type of trophies for the very end, but I was on a roll. And a literal fourth trophy revolving around the overkill mechanic. Boy, do they know how to pack it on. Double trouble, let's go. Double trouble, 200 targets killed in double overkill. Look, mom, I made it! Look, mom, I made it. Complete the game on insane. That was kind of tough towards the end. I'm not gonna lie. I don't show all the deaths that I got, but bro, I was struggling a little bit for this platinum. <laughs> the last few trophies actually have some form of excitement around them. They aren't just me running around like a chicken with my head cut off. Way to go. Okay. David versus Goliath. Clear. Clear. Move to secure the rendezvous point. Copy that. That melee trophy actually took much longer than I anticipated. I actually did two full playthroughs, only knifing a few enemies. The weapons are literally that much fun in this game. While I was on my melee journey, I snagged these two trophies as well. Finally, and stay down. Back and now there was only two big trophies left that I popped back to back since I had more than enough money from restarting some chapters that pay a bit more than others. Look at you! Let's go, that's one of the harder trophies in the game. Bang, oh, shit. Bro, those trophies are slow. Deep hot. And lastly, the most important trophy and the real reason why I decided to spend $60 for this PS3 game in 2024 is playing co-op with a friend. Honestly, how games are meant to be played. Two heads, complete a mission excluding new blood with a human partner. This is obviously my human partner, which led us to getting the platinum trophy. Earn all army of two, the devil cartels trophies. Would you believe me if I told you that this game costed me $120 on PS3? This is